Hi, in this video we demonstrate how to provision a virtual machine called Droplet on the DigitalOcean platform. On the DigitalOcean.com page, we sign into our account and then we land on the Cloud Console. From the console, we locate the Create menu. And then we select droplets that allow us to create DigitalOcean cloud servers. The first thing that we notice is that the Create Droplet console is designed with a clean and user-friendly look. The first step is to choose the operating system. So let's pick Ubuntu and from the drop-down pick the latest release 20.04 LTS. The second step we choose the CPU plan shared CPU versus dedicated CPU. The shared CPU would be the most inexpensive of them all. So let's stay with the basic shared CPU. And let's pick the size of the machine. Let's pick a machine with two CPUs and four gigabytes of memory. And we immediately know the expected costs for the month. Next, we may choose to add extra storage. So let's add a volume. Select the 100 gigabytes volume. Automatic format and mounting. EXT4 file system. And then let's choose a region. Let's choose New York, Zone 3. And at this point, we want no VPC because we, have, we want no private IP. Otherwise, we would select the New York default VPC. And that will ensure that my droplet also receives a private IP address. So let's go with the no VPC, no private IP option. Then for authentication, we need to select and configure a password. Since we have no SSH key created. So let's create a password. Now remember, this is a root password. So when you're logging in, you have to be user root. And remember the password. Then depending on previous configuration, I may or may not be able to create multiple droplets. At this point, I am restricted to a single droplet. Let's change the name to Ubuntu only. No tags, leave the default project, and no backups. And then we hit Create. Now this will take a little bit for the droplet to be created. And we will also see the progress bar. So now that the droplet has been created, we can expand it. And this is the droplets management dashboard. The dashboard has this on and off button. So I can stop and start the droplet. And then I have an SSH console. 
So let's try to log in. So my login should be root. And then my super secret password. That's it, we're logged in. Let's verify the OS release. So cat at C OS release. And it is exactly as we have configured it. 20.04 LTS. So it is safe for us to exit and log out. So now we can close this window. Also on this dashboard, we notice several options to check and explore resources to our droplet. We have access. We have power to turn on or off the droplet. And also there is a power cycle option. Then we can manage volumes the networking, backups, snapshots, and finally, we have destroy option. And this option allows us to destroy the digital ocean droplet. So let's try to destroy this. And also choose all of the connected resources. Since we created an, an extra volume, a 100 gigabytes volume, I want to delete that volume as well. So I choose all resources. And I select destroy. I am asked for a confirmation. So I enter the droplets name and confirm destroy. And I can watch it being destroyed as we speak. So in this video, we learn how to create a digital ocean droplet, how to start it, how to stop it, and how to destroy it, and also how to create additional resources uh, tied in with this droplet. So thanks for watching. And I will see you in the following video.